And hey, well, this is Francisco from Wondershare Dr. Phone. And welcome back to our YouTube channel, Wondershare Dr. Phone. So today we're bringing you a tutorial for helping you how to update your Google Play services when it isn't working properly. You might get pop-ups like Google Play services requires an update or when trying to install new updates on your service, it might say something like that something went wrong with the installation process. This definitely creates a lot of problems and a lot of annoyances as a result. We do understand how frustrating it can be to see your apps just not working when they should, especially on an updated version of Android. And Google Play services have a massive role to play in it. So don't worry, as we will go ahead and explore some causes and solutions to help you update it to make it run smoothly. And before we help you update your Google services, of course, do let us understand why you can't really update it or the app stops working. It might actually help you find uh, the correct reason, which should help a lot in finding the right solution. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So reason number one. Cache memory. The cache memory is known to be a lifesaver. It reduces unnecessary network traffic and speeds up loading time, but sometimes they pile up old data that might not really always behave properly, so it is a good idea to clear out that cache stuff from time to time. The second reason is that Google Play simply won't update apps uh, which are unnecessary for the Google Store data in particular. Reason number two, the Google Play Services is an app that really helps your device up to date with all of the latest security patches and updates. If it doesn't have enough space, then Google really may not update its service, compelling you to ask, well, how to update and your Google Play Store to begin with. The third reason is that Google Play Services won't really update is that you might have disabled an app recently. So Google Chrome, for instance, won't really update on Android because you have knowingly or unknowingly disabled it recently. System apps usually need each other in order to work properly. So if one app is not functioning correctly, then there is going to be a pretty good chance that others won't either. To fix how the Google Play service is not working issues, well, you're going to have to take a look to see what underlying issues it has. And that is exactly what we're going to be discussing here when we offer you the solution right off the bat. So let's begin with method number one. Google Play services won't run unless you update Google Play services to begin with. And to do so, remove the cache memory. So this is going to be the very first step or method, I should say. So step one, I just go into your settings and apps and then see all apps and then go into reset Google Play Store. And then from that point, tap on storage, tap clear cache, and then you should be pretty good to go from there. Now let's move on to method number two, which is going to be to remove data directly. So just go ahead and open up the settings app, go into apps, select all apps, and tap on Google Play Store. Hit storage and cache, and then finally select clear storage. Then tap on OK to confirm. Then with method number three, we can also try to enable apps for method number three here, and this is how that would work. So go ahead and visit settings, apps, then all apps. And if any apps are disabled, you're going to see a drop down menu saying all apps. So go ahead and tap on it and then select disabled apps. Now go into any app that are disabled and then enable them right from there by just tapping them. I would also like to introduce you to some of these fixes that have been tried and true for a lot of other people. So fix number one could also just be to restart your phone and then tap on Google Play services update if available to restart your device. It is always the first step in order to solve any problems that you might have with an app. So most of these issues do get resolved when you restart your devices and apps start working correctly again because it usually allows for a good refresh of the device, hence the cache data as well. And fix number two could just be to uninstall apps that are not needed. So if you are experiencing weird errors when installing an app, just try uninstalling some of the unnecessary apps. It does help when it comes to installing new ones in the future and also update Google Play Store and other apps like it. Fix number three is going to be to reset your device altogether. The last resort is definitely going to be the factory reset. It's probably not what you want to do right off the bat. This is going to delete all of your data while performing the process. So do make sure that you back up any important files beforehand in case anything goes wrong. 
you do have all that data backed up and then you can just bring it back over to your phone just in case. And lastly, we're going to try to fix this issue by updating Google Play Store services using Dr. Phone directly. And this is going to be a fantastic tool since it is our tool, of course. But in all seriousness, it really is going to be a very useful one that should get the job done for you just fine. So step one here is going to be to download and install Dr. Phone. So from your computer, just go ahead and download Dr. Phone. Then once downloaded, click install in order to go through this process quickly. And then step two is, is just going to be to take a look at the main menu and then repair the system. So go ahead and select system repair from within the windows. And then step three is just going to be to connect your phone and I'll take a USB cable and transfer data from your Android device. So make sure that you do that they set it to that mode to begin with and then connect it to it together. And then from there, go ahead and click on Android repair. And then with this option, underneath are going to be three options. And then go ahead and click on start and just wait for some time as the process completes. Step number four, of course, is going to be to just enter all of the requested details about your device as it's going to require it before downloading the correct package for you. So make sure that you choose the correct device, the brand name, model, and all of that stuff. It's going to be super important. Then click on next and then put your phone in downloading mode. And then you should see some instructions on your PC screen in order to be able to do that. So follow these according to what device you have and then boot and download mode from there after following the prompts. Go ahead and hit next when done downloading for a firmware update. And now it's time to repair it. Now the program begins to fix any errors as soon as the firmware has been downloaded. So when this process is finally complete, you will receive a notification to let you know. And then your smartphone should be fully functional from there as it should just restart in its normal configuration. So to wrap things up, are your apps behaving weirdly? Is your system pretty difficult to download new updates from? And the chances are probably that you don't have an updated version of the Google Play services. Therefore, we need to make sure that we can actually do that because this app won't work unless you end up updating it. So we over here at Wondershare have curated a, a video tutorial for you in order to help you learn exactly how to update Google Play services when it's not happening otherwise. Wondershare Doctor Phone is a very handy tool that can help you repair the app and make it run smoothly on your smartphone no issues caused from there. And the interface is very easy to use, by the way, and to understand and very much equipped with the technology to deal with all of your mobile issues. Google Play services are a package of automatic updates that can be installed on your Android phone or tablet. Updates do contain new features, bug fixes, and security improvements. Some apps may become unavailable if you don't really update Google Play services to the latest version, including your favorite the Google Play Store. Now, this robust application is available for both Android as well as iOS, by the way. No matter what you're dealing with, Wondershare Dr. Phone has a solution for it. Whether it's phone transfers or data loss, they can help out in just about any scenario and provide peace of mind that your devices are being looked after properly. So simply just go ahead and download it and run it for any issues, any mobile re related issues that you might have, and Dr. Phone won't disappoint you from there. And that's how Repair It helps you fix your Google Play services that are not installing. So are you interested in watching such videos, more videos like these tutorials? And then do not forget to leave us a like and subscribe to this channel. Also comment any of your thoughts down below in case you have any questions and in case you do need help with anything. With that said, this has been Francisco from Wondershare Dr. Phone. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a good one.